Hey, what's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you a very cool unboxing of a very cool Zelda present that Nintendo sent us the other day. And I figured, what is the best way of unboxing something other than jumping on board and hosting a quick live stream for it? So thanks for watching. I hope you guys are all excited for today's uh, live unboxing here. You guys are amazing. Welcome for uh, welcome to each and every one of you guys. Thanks for coming. All right, so um, this is exactly what we're gonna be unboxing. I'll show you guys right here. This is the uh, Legend of Zelda, uh, it's called Creating a Champion by Dark Horse Books. Uh, we're gonna give this a shot and see exactly what it is. So before we do, I wanna say uh, thanks to, to each and every one of you guys for coming out live and shout out to our friends over at Nintendo of America for providing it. I am a huge fan of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Having something like this is like the perfect Christmas present, so I'm super pumped for it. I hope all of you guys are as well. Thanks for coming. So yeah, let's jump on in. Let's see exactly what we got on this. Uh, according to the uh, MSRP, it shows that there's a lot happening, and it is at a US of $99. So it's pretty hefty, and like this thing is like legit heavy. So I can't wait to see exactly what's going on on the inside over here. So. It is, uh, it is very big, so let's give it a shot. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna unbox it live for you, and I'm pretty pumped for it, so let's jump on in, shall we? All right, oh my gosh. All right, so first thing, let's put it down over here. Let's switch up our camera, and hello. All right, so here we go, this is it. So this is the back side. It says, uh, you are the light. Uh, our light, commemorate to commemorate the return of the chosen hero with Legend of, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Creating a Champion Heroes Edition. Okay, this is great. It looks like it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Sheikah Relics, okay. Uh, wow, Developer's Notes, The Hero Awakens. All right, prepare yourself for a thrilling behind-the-scenes exploration to the art and making of one of the most groundbreaking video games of all time, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. On your adventure, you will find promotional illustrations, character art, some previously never seen. Whoa. 300 pages of concept art and sketches, complete with developer notes, a section exploring the history of Hyrule and the Great Calamity as well uh, as it's known in the game. Exclusive interviews with key developers, including series producer uh, Anuma-san. That's awesome. Okay, so this is what you get inside here. I can't wait to see this. Look at that. There's like a spirit orb. That's interesting. Like, I'm very curious about uh, the spirit orb inside there. All right, so you're going to get a slipcase with drawer. Includes the official blue of the royal family, creating a champion art book. Uh, an exclusively designed cloth cover found only in this edition. Hyrule World Map. Okay, picture of the champion's art print. Replica of photo link receives from uh, Cass. Oh, that's awesome. In the champion's ballad, hold on, you get the replica of the photo, that's cool. And a spirit orb, a glass orb that uh, features a laser etching of the goddess crest measures a one and a half inches in diameter. May the goddess smile upon you. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of cool. All right. So let's uh, let's unbox this bad boy with one hand as best we can. <laughs> you guys can see this thing is gigantic. Oh man! And then you can see right over here that this is the the side. You guys can hear the banging too. Boom, boom! Creating a champion, dark horse. And then there's like a little drawer right over there. So I totally want to open this up. Maybe I should have scored it. Watch me struggle with. <laughs> Give me that. Okay, got it. Somewhat. Okay, so here we go. Popping it open with one hand. That's skill, right? Okay, so raise your hand in the comments, all of you guys that are watching live. Uh, if you guys have seen my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild gameplay videos, I hope you guys have. It was super fun back in the day when the Nintendo Switch first came out. Okay, so here we go. Forgive the shaky camera, but uh, yeah, the show must go on. All right. Oh, man, that is out of the box. We are throwing this to the side, and that is it. This is like... Um, Maybe like a bird's eye view of it. Pretty awesome, creating a champion. Oh man, I don't even know how to get this thing out. Like I just wanna push it upside down. Okay, what do you guys think? Spirit orb first, maybe? Spirit orb second? No way, there's no way. Okay, hold on, how about this, watch. One-handed, baby. Oh, check that out. And we're gonna lift it up. Whoa, nice. Okay, whoa, and yeah, whoa, there's actually a lot of stuff that fell out. <laughs> All right, it's a beautiful thing. So let's kind of take a look at what we all have here, right? So this is uh, some sort of crest. I remember this uh, symbol is like on a shield or something like that. There's the Hyrule crest here. You've got some sort of divider on board. 
Uh, yeah, this was uh, a little divider there that we can use. And what we have over here is the little drawer. I want to see this. Oh, that's cute. May the goddess smile upon you. That's actually kind of cute. Check that out. And, whoa, what do we have here? Wow, look, what? Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Look at this. Hold on, how is that possible? Do you see that? Am I the only one seeing this right now? That is awesome. Even if you rotate it, like if you rotate it, you can see. Okay, can you guys see that crust on the inside of there? That looks amazing. Wow, yo, that's a legit spirit orb. That is like the really, I think that's the best part so far, man. I don't even want to open up the rest of it. This is really awesome. All right, anyway, so we can put that aside uh, back inside the little drawer, put that away. May the goddess smile upon you. And it has like a little magnetic clasp. It just kind of magnetizes that. All right, so uh, I'm going to put this aside. That is going to be over there. This is the divider. It doesn't need to be on screen anymore. All right, so we have that. Uh, let's take a look. This is the bad boy right there. All right. So that's the Legend of Zelda 300-page uh, book. We'll actually go through not every single page. It's not 300 pages. There's more than 300 pages. It looks like there's 450 or so. We won't go through this exact uh, whole thing because I want to leave some of it a surprise for you guys. And uh, so I'm going to put that aside. But I'm actually curious to see what these are. Like this envelope over here looks pretty interesting. So, oh, whoa, check that out. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the last print that you get. Uh, from the Champions Ballad spoilers. Uh, so that kind of begs the question, like, who's taking the picture, right? Uh, yeah, because no one's got, like, selfie arms. Unless you, that's Daruk's arms that are reaching all the way over. No, I don't think so. Who took this picture, guys? Anyway, it says, uh, by the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. Uh, oh, was it Cass taking the picture? Oh, it is Cass. Ha ha. I was thinking, um, you should be the one to keep it. So Cass took the picture. Interesting. Yeah, that's why it's called Cass's Picture. All right, so that's awesome. Take a look at that. That is really cool. And that's like a high quality print too. If you wanted to, you can take out this picture and you can possibly frame that. Or you can maybe fold this backwards and frame it, put it up on your wall. That's awesome. <laughs> that's actually really cool. Oh, totally awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So there we have it. Very, very awesome. I love that. I love that a lot. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This must be the map. Ooh, okay, here we go. The challenge. The real Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild challenge is doing this with one hand. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. What in the world? This actually feels like a map. Hold on. You guys know what a map feels like? <laughs> okay, so let me put this aside. This has like a gritty feeling to it, which is like cloth almost but yet paper i don't i don't get it uh, i i can't explain it <laughs> if you ever thought of like an old pirate map or like a pirate ship map i think that that's kind of what it would feel like like a treasure map holy mo okay hold on hold on if this is going to be this is all of hyrule there's no way there's no uh, <laughs> all right hold on there's no way all right so where are we this is taking up the entire desk over here, as you guys can see. Uh, I don't even know if I have this right side up uh, or... Yeah, yeah, no, I do, I do, because there's Death Mountain right over there, and then you have uh, the, the snowy area over here, and, like, the desert was over here. We were finding some Yaha highs over there. And then what? Like, the Great Plateau is, like, somewhere over here? This is actually kind of cool. And, like, it feels, it feels like... Oh, man, feel this. Can you guys feel this through the screen? I think you can. <laughs> Let me describe it. It feels like felt. It feels like a really, really dull felt and uh, a pirate's map. So anyway, yeah, that's really cool. I like that a lot. It's, it's the gigantic map of the entire Hyrule area. And I remember that's like the Tingle Islands right over here. And uh, there was, oh, the labyrinth. Yeah, I remember that labyrinth that was like over there. Yeah, we did that. We did everything in this game. It was so much fun. Oh, and is that Eventide Island? Yeah, there we go. So... That was awesome. That's right. Videos in 5D. You'll be able to feel the textures. You are absolutely right. No, this is a really cool map, but uh, I don't know how to fold it back up. Okay, so let me see if I could try my luck at folding this back up. I am not going to, especially not one hand. All right, so I'm going to put that aside. <laughs> 
All right, so that was inside this thing. Uh, we already saw the photo that was inside there. Uh, we're gonna jump inside this book and I'll show you guys exactly what's going on. Let's make some room and it'll be a fun time. So here we go. Whew, oh boy. All right, so taking a look, we've got a little bit of the entire map over here. You've got the Sheikah symbol. Okay, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild creating a champion. All right. Open your eyes. Let me see if I can focus a little bit more. Open your eyes. Okay, so here's the development staff, a little bit of that. All right, illustrations. We'll go through the first couple ones. Okay, so you got some key art over here. And again, I don't want to go through every single one of these because then what's the point of you guys buying it, right? You want to definitely take a look at all these awesome uh, pictures and artwork and everything like that. Yeah, that's some pretty cool cover art from, this is from the E3 2016 official illustration. All right, whoa, I've never seen that one. Uh, this one is box art official, wow, okay. We've seen a couple of these before. Okay, so yeah, pictures. What is that? Hold on, Link. <laughs> That's cool. A weekly Famitsu cover, rough designs. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, it looks pretty great. Link, swimming in the water, don't drown, uh, Zelda, etc. Okay, so let's see some other things. What else we got? So that was roughly like a whole bunch of sketches that you guys can mess around with and take a look at on your entire playthroughs of this book, hence playthrough or read through. All right, so this next section is all about development. That's interesting. So Link uh, shows, uh, oh my, oh, 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 we're a family-friendly channel here. <laughs> wow, what the heck just happened? No, I'm kidding, there was nothing there. Don't even worry about it. Uh, Link on a motorcycle was part of like early development. The guitar playing motorcycle riding Link was one of the early designs put forward at the start of development. Modern outfit of jeans and a jacket was totally a new look for Link. Are you kidding me right now? Wow. Jeans and a jacket on Link. No way. Oh my, that's funny. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Navigator Dog. That's interesting. Uh, fights for you. Bites. Look at that. That's, that's cool. You can kind of like learn a little bit about the evolution of Zelda and uh, all the other characters in the game and exactly how they've kind of come to be. Look at these hairstyles. Imagine if her hairstyle was like this. That'd be so cool. That'd be really cool. Okay, and then uh, Calamity Ganon right over here. We've got some pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah, take a look at that. All right, so I want to see some other thing. The Hylians we can kind of go through there. You've got the Zora. I'm kind of skipping around here. You guys get the point, right? All right, let's see what else. Oh, the, the Gerudo. Whoa, man, look at these. Look at these children. They look like little demons. <laughs> look at the elderly ones. What? This is so crazy. And then uh, Riju, yeah, looking like a boss. And the other characters, that's awesome. What is this, the great fairies? Oh, I love the designs of the great fairies. In every Zelda game, they're just so great. And they're like, they're over the top. You guys can see all the different monsters. Uh, Lionels, oh man. Oh dang, the Lord of the Mountain, take a look at him. Wow, how creepy. You guys remember that? Where he has like two heads on his, uh, his one head? And then the uh, Feroche Neira and Dinral, the dragons, you can see that, I remember that. You got all sorts of horse gear, you got the animals and the wildlife, all the aquatic creatures, weapons and shields, wow. Master sword, oh, that's so cool. Like just revisiting this, all the ancient weapons, I love revisiting this, it's just really fun. Okay, armor and clothing, you can take a look at, Sheikah relics, uh, the four divine beasts, it shows like the designs of them and all the different things that they were kind of talking about in development. Uh, Great Plateau, Korok Forest, uh, the Zelda Castle. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on. Check that out. All right, so I'm trying to kind of skip through here really quick so you guys get a little bit of a taste of what is going on. Elden, so the different regions of the entire map. Uh, I want to see if there's another section. I don't think so. So, like, these are the various items. You've got the Champions over here from DLC Pack 2. The Champions Ballad. Oh, man. Raise your hand in the comments if you guys watched me do the Champions Ballad. Like, we were the very first ones to finish that thing. It was so awesome. And we got that Master Cycle Zero. It was so good. So we got Mifa over here. We've got Daruk, uh, Rivali, and the Master Cycle Zero. Yeah, dude, that was awesome. And I was like, hey, man, I, re I really wish this thing could do a wheelie. 
And then uh, apparently I could do a wheelie, <laughs> but it was too late for me. And that was it. Okay, so this is the history of Hyrule. Uh, this is interesting. So, wow, this is, okay, so this is going to tell you uh, the exact history of Hyrule. All right, so the distant past, the kingdom of Hyrule flourishes under Hyrulean w royal family. Uh, Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo, transforms into dark beast Ganon and threatens Hyrule. Princes of Hyrule is chosen, uh, and a chosen hero combine the power to seal Ganon. Okay, Ganon continues to be revived and then sealed away. Oh, interesting. So this is kind of like a timeline. I'm actually really interested about this. Like, I want to read this through. I want to read this through absolutely. Uh, the history in Hyrule, the historical chrono uh, chronology of each race. Yeah, this is interesting. So, so if uh, Dark Horse Comics was able to put all of these events like in some sort of timeline that kind of answers a lot of questions so i would be that's a really good read to see exactly how things are for legend of zelda breath of the wild so ancient sheikah monks oh yeah i remember these guys they all have uh the same design <laughs> it's so interesting like why would well i guess they all have names right but it's like a copy paste almost of like this person and this person and this person but they all have different names kind of weird all right, and this is uh, about 100 years ago, preparing for the Calamity. Okay, that's awesome. So these are like the memories that uh, Zelda had, the champions. Oh, this is so good. Uh, the Great Calamity, the Downfall. Don't really want to put any spoilers on board. The Master Sword, what happened? You guys can go watch my Let's Play on that. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so let's take a look. So there's, yeah, there's over 400 uh, pages, and this shows like all the Sheikah Slates, the little ruins... Uh, different little items that you can get and Hyrule Castle layout too. There's like a little map in here in case you like want some help playing through the game. So that's interesting. Okay, restoring Princess Zelda is freed. Spoilers in the final battle. Uh, mysteries of Hyrule. Ooh, ooh. The mysteries. I'm curious. Okay, and then back to our roots, building the world of Breath of the Wild. And then even more uh, developer interviews. That's kind of cool. And then uh, Aonuma-san on the last page over there. So there we have it. Cool. What did you guys think? It's, it's definitely a good read, uh, I would definitely say. I would totally say that this is a good read. Over 400 pages of Legend of Zelda notes that you guys can enjoy. You've got the full-on map that comes inside here. And then you've got the very awesome picture uh right on board over that way and don't forget like one of my favorite things about the entire thing was the uh, the full-on spirit orb like this thing like i want this this is like the best thing ever like truly it is let's take a look at this one more time <laughs> this alone is like worth a hundred bucks i would totally say it's like 3d etched on the uh on the inside that looks really fun anyway so what did you guys think what did you guys think of it uh was this uh something that you're interested in getting i hope so uh, I would totally get one if uh, I would get it for like a fan of like Zelda. I would honestly think so. I'm wearing my Zelda track jacket, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Bam. And then this thing, this thing is like super cool. Like check that out. It's like the best. Anyway, let me know. How would you guys rate it out of 10? Do you guys think that that's something that you're going to pick up? Is this uh, a great gift for one of your friends that are fans of Zelda? I would totally say so. So 100 bucks retail, I'll put some links in the description a little bit later, or at least in the pinned comments so that you guys can pick one up. And then of course, uh, grab one. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part about the entire thing. Did you like the gigantic map? Did you guys like the spirit orb? Did you guys like the photo? Did you guys just like the overall uh, like behind the scenes look into the game? Which was uh, probably one of my things that I'm gonna be reading over the next few days. So anyway, thanks again to all of you guys who came out live to the unboxing. I hope you guys really enjoyed Enjoy this. Uh, thanks again to our friends over at Nintendo of America uh, for providing this awesome thing. It is huge. It's heavy. There's a lot of reading. There's a lot of content for it. So if you guys are a die-hard a die Nintendo Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild fan, this is definitely something that you do want to pick up. A great gift for the upcoming holidays. Why not? 
Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, stay tuned for even more. And if you guys didn't already watch my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 100% playthrough, go ahead and do that. It was really fun. That's when the Nintendo Switch first came out. We were like the first ones playing it. It was so much fun. Anyway, thanks for that. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. And don't forget to tell me in the comment section below what your favorite part about the unboxing was. We'll see you next time. Take care.